Good morning, and thank you everybody for joining me for the Uplifter of the Week. Let's get started. Okay, All right. here we are. Hi, Hi. 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 haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm having great. a good day. Having a great cool. day. I am so happy to welcome the both of you, Gabby and Mary from Gabby's Grounds, Gabby's Pals, as our esteemed, amazing uplifters of the week. Yay! So <laughs> up in the chair, here we are celebrating each and every person for their unique contribution to humanity. No one and nothing left out. And each week we get to celebrate, see, hear, know, learn from people who are taking action every single day to create authentically welcoming spaces and spaces of inclusion where everybody gets to fully, fully participate. So welcome, Mary and Gabby. So nice oh, to thank meet you. you. Thank you. Would, would you guys like to introduce yourselves and maybe just share a little bit first about your story? Sure, um, I'm Mary Angelini. I'm Gabby. Um, Gabby's my 24 year old daughter. The only daughter. The only daughter. How many brothers do you have? Five brothers. Five brothers. And, and nobody wanted to hire you, right? <laughs> yes. Because what'd they say? They said no, and they never gave me a chance to try it. But out. they said you'd be too slow, right? Yeah. But they, how do they know you'd be too slow? They never tried me. They never know. How are they going to know? So we said, never mind. We'll start our own company, right? <laughs> so you started your own company, right? Mm -hmm. So we you have Gabby. started your own company. <laughs> started our own co our nonprofit company. Yeah. Our nonprofit company. And what, how did you get the idea for what you actually would want to do? what you always wanted what restaurant she wanted a restaurant right and i said well i don't think i could do a restaurant but maybe i could do a coffee shop let's do it let's do it she said so we went and met with a local roaster <laughs> larry larry and he made you a special blend and so we have um guatemala and sumatra yep right all different kinds of coffee but good but good so we decided well we'll start a coffee shop right oh yeah so we went down that road first <laughs> wow and so you already liked coffee. So it was just like a match made in heaven. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite blend now? Have you tasted all of them? I don't really know, basically. I think you just like the Guatemalan Sumatra, the medium roast. Yeah. He likes the medium roast. So in starting your medium own, order. so in starting your own company, because people were saying no to you and you weren't willing to accept the no, you knew that you had something really unique to offer. You have skills you are, that you want to contribute to the greater good. So how then when you launched it, how did people receive? How was the public uh, receiving your offer? Were they receptive to coming to a coffee shop and all those people who said, oh no, you can't. How did they? Oh, we, we, well, we didn't get a coffee shop we and we didn't get to that point we um people were very receptive and we had a <laughs> gofundme and what happened in three days of our gofundme yeah fifty thousand fifty thousand dollars in three days um so we tried to open a coffee shop for uh three years um and raise money because you need about two hundred and fifty thousand to open a coffee shop um so we raised money we did pop-ups and people loved us people loved you they loved the idea they donated they did everything they volunteered everything um, so we, we, we do have a coffee company. Uh, we ship online. People come in and order, pick up locally. Uh, we deliver. We do hot and ice pop-ups. Um, but we pivot to, um, warehouse. to a warehouse, and we have Gabby's Pals. Mm -hmm. So we're doing packaging, assembling, labeling, and shipping. So we have two nonprofit companies now. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So you really just ran with it. You said... I'm going to do this no matter what. And when it didn't work one way, that didn't stop you. You just said, well, then we're gonna find another way. So I just really, first of all, want to acknowledge and celebrate both of you for not only pursuing your passion, but being first also a parent child working together, that together that power is greater than one, the commitment, the love that you guys share and the 
and that you want to spread that, make that available to everybody. And it has nothing to do with ability, non-ability, but really just it's that perseverance and love and inviting other people to also be uplifters of your vision is so powerful. And so I was so excited because I, uh, Gabby, I actually met your mom through a different organization. Your mom and I were both recipients of an award called Pay It Forward Tuesdays, where there's a group of entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs who want to support programs like ours, uplifting programs that are inclusive and welcoming. And so that's how your mom and I met. And then when I learned about Gabby's Pals, I had already started my own program to bring curriculum and activities to schools for kindergarten through 12th grade and on college campuses. And I needed a distributor. And I learned about Gabby's Pals. And I was really excited to partner with Gabby's Pals to make this happen, to get you know, pack up everything, ship it to all schools all over the country. So if you guys would share just a little bit more about Gabby's Pals and how does that organization work? Because anybody who's got shipping needs, this could be a really amazing, again, match made in heaven. So tell us about Gabby's Pals. I mean, we have, um, Gabby, you go ahead. Tell them about Gabby's Pals. How many employees do you have? 42. And what do they do? What, what kind of jobs do you work on? Um, like what are you doing we today? Do, right now we're doing Murphy's Naturals candles and rubber from Bridgestone. So for Bridgestone, you're just peeling off the peeling off the plastic and just roll up in a ball. And for Murphy's, you're taking the candles out of boxes. And for Murphy's Naturals, we just um have the candles put them in a white box. After you pop them up, you put them in with the dividers. Then you close them and put Gabby's Pal sticker on top right corner. Mm -hmm. So we can we do things in house for people. Uh, we also um, we can go to your company and work in your warehouse. Uh, we have people out in Creedmoor, nineteen people working at warehouse out there. Um, if you need one or two people to help with the project during a, a week or whatever, we can do that. We can stuff envelopes. We they can do anything. They're very flexible. You know, repetitive test tasks are best. Um, we also do drop shipping if somebody needs a space. They have a new entrepreneur and they need a small space. There's um, other spaces in our co-working warehouse where they can rent month to month. And we go into those cages and we pick and pack and ship for them. They don't even have to come into their office. They can have everything shipped down here. So we do that as well, right? Mm -hmm. Amazing. And so for your employees, what was it like? For them, what do they say about having this kind of opportunity? They love it. They they love it. They love coming to work. They mm -hmm. um they love going to lunch together and hanging out as friends, right? They walk yeah. to the little restaurant at the end of the area here. Wilson's, they, uh, Wilson's restaurant. They go bowling mm -hmm. on Mondays. They they're, we're having a pizza party today because they achieved a, a, a goal that we set for them. They were doing um, three boxes a day and we challenged them to do more. And they did seven boxes a day of the, of the rubber. So mm -hmm. we're having a big pizza party. We do classes on um, every Friday. We have educational classes at the local technical college for them. So they go to college once a week. Um, so um, we've had other companies come in and want to hire them and they, they don't want to leave. Even though this pay was doubled, they're, they're one big happy family here. Mm -hmm. But you we have really people coming every day that want to work here. So we just need well, more work to employ them. We call an uplifting community, a place where people are seen, known, heard, and celebrated for their unique contribution to humanity. And then that no one and nothing left out, you've created a space where everybody there gets to be connected and to, because of that connection, that community, everybody rises together. And so I, I was just so excited um, to get to now be a partner with your team to know that the fulfillment of the uplifters clubs will actually happen because I know that there's people who are really taking very good care of ensuring that this difference making program makes it into the right hands. I'm so appreciative of also that not only did you take care of yourself when it came to you discovering where you might want to work and 
creating a business, but now you have paid it forward as well and created that opportunity for so many other people that were probably facing similar types of, of rejection, non-inclusion uh, when they went to apply for jobs. Uh, it's really thrilling. So where are you guys based? We're in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good. And if people the want to, I know with your coffees too, that um, people can subscribe for regular monthly shipments of Gabby's towels. I, I think the, it, or Gabby's grounds, what's so great is if you're a company or a school and you just want to really add an element of, of that authentically welcoming space and being creative in how you promote or bring awareness and education for inclusion, I say order from Gabby's Browns. So how would people go about doing that? What's our website? Um, Gabby'sGrounds.com. Yep, they can order online and we ship it to them right out. Mm -hmm. Gabby will pack it up and ship it out. Oh my goodness. And or you said you here. put your sticker on it and a little bit of information about your community. Is that right? That's right. Companies let us put our pack by Gabby's Pals um, on their packages. So they're going out. So people will see that we're packing them. Yeah. Well, I know that's going to happen with our Uplifter Clubs as well. And so if people also have, if they're starting sort of a subscription box or they're doing a large order, how do they reach you at Gabby's Pals? Yeah, it's the same website. Everything's on the same website, www.gabbyspals.org. Um, It'll take you to the same place. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Uplifter of the Week with the Uplifter Global community for Up in the Chair. And even though we had to had a little technical glitch at the end of this one, please look in the comments for all of the information about how to reach out to Gabby's Grounds and Gabby's Pals. And we wish all of you an amazing, uplifting day. Who will you uplift? So let us know and share that in the comments. Bye.